Okay, today's project is a dragonfly. The dragonfly is out of block number one. This is the one that's split from both sides, but opposites with a gap in the middle. The block that I've prepped for it, this is it. Mary come in, it's small. What we're building a dragonfly, they are small. You can step this up any block size you want. This, this happens to be half by half square stock. I've already, it's the same block. Okay, what I've done is widen them out and we're even gonna go past that. But the key points are, we got our wing material, we got our head, body, head and tail and body material. You can see there's quite a bit of material here. But you can also see that it already has that image of something that is flying or has the wings, okay? We've made a dragonfly. Uh, key points I want to bring out. That's what you're going to have to do every time you build a project. It, if you want it to look like what it's supposed to, you've got to find the key points of whatever you're building. Key points of the dragonfly is the body, the head, and the tail. This whole thing has to be pretty close, and then people aren't going to have to guess what it is. Okay, the key points of your body, they have this big shape, all their muscles, all their bodies up front for their wings. They have that long tail that's like in pieces. You can do that however you want. They have great big old eyeballs, okay? All the wings come off the top. Another key point, they have four wings. If you build one with two wings, you can, but the dragonflies and all of them I looked at, they got four wings. So if you match those key points, he's going to look correct. They have six legs. Okay, they all come off the front of this body section, right behind their head. Dragonfly, if you look at all the pictures, are not really designed to sit flat, like landing flat on the ground. They're like made to hold on to grass pieces and almost a sideways approach. So they have a short leg, a little bit longer leg, long leg. They kind of approach everything and grab onto it from the side. So your key details is your body, this section, your head and the tail. They got these big old eyeballs. They got four wings. They have six legs. This is one that we've made. Um, you can tell he's just kind of knocked out into the details of he has six legs. This is why we build that block. You can see I got plenty of body section there. Uh, the tail, that long skinny tail. Four wings, big old bug eyes, and he has the head and the shape that we need to do. So now let's get going. Let's take this block and we're going to turn it into this dragonfly. So let's go. Okay, we'll explain the block, what changes we've made, if any. Okay, this block started out, it's a half by half piece of square bar. Okay. It's not a very big piece. It's actually a very small piece. You can scale this up. Okay, the cuts going in are three quarters of an inch, half inch space in the middle between the lines. You'll understand if you have watched that block video. If you haven't, go back and check it out. I appreciate you watching them. So for three quarters in, half inch space in the middle, and cutting on the opposites coming in is three quarters. So three quarters, half inch space, three quarters, half by half, solid bar. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the next step is I have spread these out, but I want them to be flatter. So we're going to heat it up and you can hit it with the hammer or whatever you need to, to smash it just a little bit flatter. Okay, so that these, so that your body line is going to come across straight and your wings too. But I'll take it, we heat it up, I set it in the fly press and boom, get it down to our next step and then we will start on the head, body and the tail first. The wings will be the last thing we do. So we'll go to there. Okay, so we're going to set it in, stand him up, but we're just going to flatten it.
see that. Just getting it down a little bit farther. It doesn't have to be way down there. That would straighten them out where your block is. You just see how they curled a little bit. Okay, so you can see this is a pretty cool shape by itself. Got that block, flattened it out, and now we're going to go for a heat and we're going to start working on the head. Okay, so to start the head, I want to fold her in right behind the wings. I built this in my fly press. Works very nice. If you have a there's lots of different ways you can do this. This is not the only way. Now the reason we're pulling this in is to get that shape for the head, but you can tell the material is still laying flat. So what we're going to do is heat it up and I'm actually going to make a twist right there. Okay, so I'm going to get him in the vise. Right there, and we are going to twist the material we need right here for his head. Okay, so now we've twisted it. You'll notice we have the material. You can see the twist here, but we have the right amount of material moved again for his head. So we can start, we can hide this twist if we want to. It's, it's, it's up to you. Now we have this material here. We'll start kind of rounding it out. And then we will I'll show you how I just kind of open these, knock these corners down, make his bug eyes a little bit of a nose area. I don't know if dragonflies have a nose, but, and then we'll put a little mouth on it. And that will be his head. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we've, we've twisted it. I'm just gonna come in here and pull this again a little bit, just to, not really hide it, I just want to have a defined neck. So now we've got just a little bit where we've hit the twist a little bit, but we've defined the neck again. So now we'll go for another heat and we'll work on this hip. Okay, so we're going to come in at an angle, work these high spots down. Kind of round out a little bit. Head. Now I know some of you are thinking, "Wow, well, that's a weird looking head." <laughs> it is a weird looking head. So just started rounding it up. Put him this way in the vise. Cinch him down, we're going to make his eyeball. Kind of knock those corners off. Come over here. Knock that one off. I'm going to come in and even them up.
come in with just a little hot cut. I'm just going to bump the mouth in there. I don't, more for looks. There's his head, his eyes, his mouth. We've twisted the neck, gotten the material we needed for the dragonfly. Now I'm going to go in and pull a little bit of this body out and then we'll start the tail. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put him on the edge of that. I'm just going to pinch at him. Pinch this body. I know that's going to be the tail. I've just kind of gone in and just redefined his body. So we got his head, put that body line in there. And if you have smaller fullers, it's easier for that neck. If you can, this is a half inch fuller. So something this small, you can actually go up. Now I'm going to show you what I do where the legs go. So we'll go for heat and we'll. Be back in the vise. Okay, so we're coming in the vise. He might lay his head just off so you don't smash him. And I'm going to come in right behind in the front of his wing here. Right here, I know, is where I'm going to put his legs later. So right in line with everything. This is, oh, it's, it's probably less than a quarter. It's just a ball punch. And I'm punching that section that I know that that's where I'm going to put his legs. Plus, it kind of pushes out this little chest area a little bit. I'm going to do it on the other side, and then we'll start the tail. Okay, so this is just the same thing. On the other side, the ball punch. Right up. We're going to kind of make his chest and spot for his legs. Okay, so it's just kind of a little spot in there where his legs, you're going to drill the hole for the legs if you want legs. If not, it does push that little chest area out. So now we're going to go in and stretch our tail. Okay, if you don't have a fuller or a Smith and Magician or one of these tools, yes, you can do this right on the animal. Just going to get it started, pushing that material out. And start to get that tail moving out. The edge of the animal, lay your part up and just do the same thing. Start drawing this out. Keep going, keep going until you've got, let's say you've got the tail as long as you want it. Okay, so I'm going to stretch it out some more and then we'll come back. Like I said, on these videos, show 
showing you how to do it. The detail of all the stuff, you're going to have to just keep going, keep playing with it. Okay, but we have our dragonfly in our head, body sections there, because the way we did the block, we got the tail. Now all we got left is to build our wings. Okay, so now that we've cut the wings, because dragonfly have four wings, what we're going to do is draw out the wings. Now I know a lot of people, when you watch the video, you see me using that fly press with the fullers. It works very well for some of these smaller details. If you have a guillotine, something like this, if you've been around the blacksmith stuff, you've seen these, you can get the same results I do out of my fly press smashing this and stretching it in the guillotine. The wings, okay, are the same. We can put them in the fuller. I like to stretch them a little ways while they're cut before I separate them. You can try it however you like. <laughs> That's kind of the beauty of this whole thing is I'm going to show you how to get the material there, how to move it, how to make sure you have it to build it. The finish work on all this is up to you. As nice as you want it, make it that nice. If you want it rough, make it rough. But all of this can be done at the anvil. You can come in here and stretch these out just as you would any type of a taper. The wings are the same way. You can get a hold of them, butt them up there, leave them flat out on the anvil, work from the far side towards yourself stretching these that little bit. So what we're going to do now is go back. I'm going to stretch these out a little ways and then we'll come in with a hot cut, finish the cut, fuller out the bottom and then we will finish drawing out the wings of our dragonfly. Okay so we're going to set the wing in, start Drawing it up. So you'll see how it's working its way out. Set it down so you can see the other one. Just work it out. You can do it on the anvil. We'll do the next one on the anvil just to show you. Just in case that's something you want to see. Okay, so same thing. Butt him up against your anvil. This is a cross beam. Start stretching them. No need to go the other way yet. Just start stretching them out. Then do the other side. Get them pretty even. Okay, once you get them both out, about not quite twice what they were, but get them out a little ways. Start thinning them. Then we're going to go in and separate them. So let me get the other side matched up. Okay, so we're going to lay them in, grab a hold of them, because we're going to split the wings. Always when you split them, bottom them out. The hot cut, coming with the small fuller. Isolate, you always want to fuller out the bottom of the Sharp hot cut. Okay, again, other side. Bottom out that cut. Come in with your fuller. Get your good fuller line in there. Just stretching them out. Ok, 
Okay, so I'll set him on the edge. Working them even. This is a farrier's hammer uh, It has a large round face to this side. Seems to help. You can use a regular ball peen. This just seems to help. I like the way this draws a big push all four directions. But when you go to finish it, you can take the ball peen, it's real tight, and really clean it up. You kind of want to work from both sides, you know, do a little bit on that side. You'll see how the wings are bending up. That's fine because we're going to be able to push them back. The key point right now is just to draw them out without breaking them off. Okay, and then the wings, you can go as far as you want to go. You can Leave them shorter, leave them kind of heavy. You know, if you're putting them out on a gate or they were going to be out where people could get to them or something, you might want them kind of short and heavy. If you go up a bigger material, like we talked about with the elephant ears and the uh, legs of the turtle and different things, that you can take this bar when you bend it and you could leave it thick thin going back to the block you can have a lot of material for wings or you can really step it down depending on what you're going for for the wings where are you going to put it is it just going to sit on a desk if it's out on a big garden gate you might want really heavy wings so that someone doesn't just bend them off or they're going to be more robust but we'll keep going a little bit more Try to get them all even. The dragonfly, if you look them up, they do have they do have different shapes. The front ones are kind of rounded. The back ones are more like an airplane wing. But it depends on how much detail you want to put in it as to uh, what you're going to do. Like I said, I'm going to get you there. I'll get you how to do the body, how to get the head. You can really clean these up. You could leave more material in between your cuts and you can see it would have given you more body. There's a lot you can do if you just take your time. I think a lot of people have said it, you know, if you if you want it right, you want it perfect, forge it perfect. Keep going until it's in your eye it's perfect. If you want it roughed out, leave it roughed out. That is a dragonfly. I could hand that to my kid. They'd look at it and go, oh, cool, a dragonfly, and they'd run around the house with it. So you've got it. If you're to here, you've got it. One piece dragonfly. But we'll keep going. We'll get these wings out a little farther. And uh, then we'll kind of get it cleaned back up, and we'll show you, go through the details just a little bit more. Getting colder, I don't want it to go much more than that. So I'm gonna get this other side dressed up a little better. Okay, so it looks like this back one could be a little bit longer. So let's get that one once more. And then we'll kind of put them in place a little bit in the vise. Go from there. Okay, so we just kind of pinch him in the body mass. Pinch it 
give us enough to put these wings where we want them. Flatten them out a little bit. I think I'm going to leave the front ones up. Back ones I'm going to take push them down. a little bit with this hammer. Like I said, you can come in and spend all the time you like getting that exactly how you want it. And look at the books and pictures and really Get an idea for how their wings are, how they sit when they're flying, when they're standing. It's really up to you. But let me get him cleaned up and we'll show him to you again. Okay, so in no means is this some high tech <laughs> wire wheel grinder. This is extremely old piece that somebody built. It's got horseshoes forged for guards. It's very slow. If I push against this with my hand, it will stop this whole thing. This is, do not use a high speed. You can sit with your wire brush, do whatever is the safest. This thing is made from an upside down piston with a shaft in it. I'll explain this old thing in one of my videos on tools that I want to make. I have a lot of funny tools like this. Okay, do not use a high speed, any any kind of wire. Slow it way down. Be super careful. This one works great. Getting this stuff just kind of clean back up, knocking the steel off. But it is not by any means high speed anything. This works great to get the scale, get it cleaned back up. Okay, we'll bring him back over to the anvil and explain the finishing parts. Okay, so here's the dragonfly that we just made. Yes, it's it's roughed out. I'm trying to show you the process. The way to get the material there was the blocks, the first block. Okay. This is a three-quarter one. But you can see all the things that you can get out of there. You can get all those things to get you the material where you need it to build the dragonfly, his body. You can work on this spacing in here and really get a lot bigger body if you want that much mass. You can draw this way down. They have a big torso type area. Uh, you can get the wings longer, bigger, thicker by changing what you do with the block. This is a, this is a pretty small project, but if you have a smaller forge, gas forge, coal forge, induction forge, Anyway, just to heat it up, if you follow the steps that I'm laying out, you'll be able to get that dragonfly. Uh, the legs, real quick, where we put the indentions earlier, you just drill you a hole that's the size for three wires to slide into. Once you've got them slid in there, leave them long because you can cut them. You can't add to them, but you can cut them. So leave them long, get three of them in there. Lay this dude on his back, take you a round punch, uh, center punch, whatever you got. You can take, you might need someone to help you. Take this and punch that, punch it, punch it, punch it. That hole will start to collapse and you will pinch these wires in there. These ones still move. I wanted them to move so I could see where I want it. If I want it posed like that, if I want it way up high, 
however you want it. If you're going to put him on a, something like a stand, you know, Dragonfly's body is actually designed to kind of land on things this way. So you bend his legs to match. So wherever you want to go with the legs, awesome. But there it is. This little project from the block is our dragonfly. Do all the details you want. Really stretch him out, really work on his head, really put all the details you can into it. And you can have an awesome little dragonfly. Whatever you need for your project, things like that. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this is fun, something you want to try, something you want to do. Um, Hopefully putting it in a video form earns your subscription. We really appreciate it. We appreciate you guys who have been watching these other videos. Here's the Dragonfly, the first of this block series. We'll go through. We have a list of items they either have built or we're going to build and try out of this block. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you get you some bar stock. Start your block, get your process going, build one and have fun. So thanks again. Let's go build some more stuff.